hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another episode of Me Fall Hall and Crap. <laughs> so this one is going to be from Ulta. So shout out to one of my lovely subscribers. Um, I will find that comment and try to put it up in here. You let me know that Ulta was having a 10 times points on all palettes for one day only. Good, it was 10 times points for platinum member, diamond members, and then five times for everyone else or something like that. So did a little shopping really excited about it and so let's get into jump right into it so the only things I did not that aren't palettes in this haul are these blush mallows soft blushes from jcat beauty okay these are about five dollars I was very interested in them um little disappointed <laughs> because I thought they were going to be super super soft like a super shock shadow or a super shock cheek from Colourpop because it said blush mallow but they're they're regular like kind of soft powder blushes um so I got three shades this one's called thank you very much now there was about six shades ish on Ulta's website but when I went to the jcat beauty website um there's way more so really excited to dive into them this is berries and cream really pretty really pigmented nice Although blush, I feel like doesn't need to be super pigmented. I don't know many people who like super pigmented blush. Like I, I like, like I think most people like color, like blush, but that flush diffused, not like Ringling Brothers. But I, I, don't, I don't know. This last one's called Baby Mochi, and this is more of a highlighter. Um, definitely more of a highlighter, not a blush, but for me anyway. That's what I would use it for. Why do I keep looking at my window? I don't know if you notice in these videos, because my blinds are fully open, it's beautiful natural light, and I'm just nosy. There's a lot of stuff happening. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like Griff, be in the window. Okay. So, kicking, now we're into all the palettes, and uh, continuing with the J-Cat Beauty. I picked up three of their, these are the Dia and Noche collection of the palettes. These are 15 pan palettes with like color themes to them. And I picked up three of them. They were about $8. Um, so this is, what's it called? Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time. And so this is your pinks and purples here. I have not used it, ever used a J.Cat Beauty palette, but I was really intrigued by these. So this is your pinks and purples here. This is your blues and greens called Around the Clock. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Let's see what we can get. See how much we can get into it, okay? See how much we can get from these little $8 palettes. And this one's beautiful. This one's called Noche. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Beautiful, fall, lovely situation here. Absolutely gorgeous there. So, J Cat, J Cat, okay. Uh, then we have Juvia's Place. Um, I picked up the four. These were on sale for $7 instead of 10 These are the four uh, Rebel palettes, this Rebel collection, and they're uh, like monochromatic themed quads. Um, but they were counted as palettes. So we have mints. Ooh. We have mints here. Mint. Can I just say, so happy to be filming. Uh, <laughs> Army. You love your greens. She don't need a lot. So um, these type of quads are really good if you're more of a neutral person, but you may want to pop a color here and there. This one's called Honey. Of course, it's my favorite one. Of course, of course. And then this one's called Grays, which is this is probably my second favorite one. Look at that. So we have those really nice. We're getting there. We're getting there. So then I decided to try some Zoe Zo Ava products. Never used their palettes before. Um, but they were really, I don't know if Ulta stopping selling them, but they were severely discounted. Like almost like 90% off situation. So I picked up a cheek palette or cheek duo. This is a Caramel Melange Highlighter Duo. And you have two highlighters in here. Really, really pretty packaging. You have two highlighters in here. I want to say these things were like $6 a piece. Something like that. Something like that. Um, this, oh my god, this is so cute. This is their matte Voyager palette, and it is a mini eyeshadow palette. I'll be honest, I wouldn't pay any more than like four or five, six dollars for this. I think retail value was like 20 something bucks, but it's very cute. Very cute, all matte, kind of neutrals. Oh, so cute. 
that'd be such a cute mini look I was talking in my other video about doing a look with all mini products and that might be one <laughs> really cute to use then we have the caramel melange I'll start with this one uh, eyeshadow palette um, I'll be honest with you, this one was like $6. Now that I got it in person, the pictures look better. It's kind of boring to me. We're going to use it, though. I've heard great things about the formula. Um, everyone can't be, all of them can't be a winner. But we have that one. I really like this Screen Queen one. I really like this. Really pretty. Really soft jewel tones in here. Really beautiful. So, we have, and I like this package. I like this design. Really pretty. So, we have those. Okay. Alright, and then the last three, Lorac. I haven't bought a Lorac Pro palette in a very long time. Lorac has a soft base in my heart. She was the first high-end palette I ever bought. Love them. Love the formula. She has a lot of new pro palettes. They're all kind of boring neutrals, but this one really excited me, and this is called the Fairy Tale Forest palette, but I'm going to rant for just one second. So you know how things come with the plastic sheet. If you don't know me, I like the names of my eyeshadow. So here's the palette. Beautiful palette. Lorac usually names all of her shadows and has them right on the on the packaging but um they'll come with a plastic sheet with the names on it which is a pain in the ass and but I, what I'll do is I'll tape it here I'll tape it above the mirror or on the mirror so I can see the shades um but look at this type look at this sheet that came with these <laughs> who does this who does this so if I tape it to the front I lose my mirror and I guess I could tape it to the back which I'm gonna have to because I, I want the shade names I could put it on the back here but who gives a black? Anyway, here's the palette. It's really pretty. I could have done without the entire type row, to be honest with you, but it's pretty. And this was $35, so a little bit less than her old pro palettes. <laughs> Alright, now the last two palettes are from Morphe. I picked up the 35X Big Primping Palette. Um, I love this packaging of palettes. This is a, I'll just let you know now. It is a neutral palette, leaning a little bit on the pinky neutrals. Um, there are some repeat shades in true Morphe 35 palette fashion. But again, still very excited to use it. Really soft romantic colors here. But you've got a pretty deep bottom row that you can get some smoke out of. Get some get some su seduction eyes out of. Y'all know? So that's there. <laughs> and then I had to get this one because Mickey Mouse... Excuse me, Mickey Mouse is my favorite. And so this is the Mickey Mickey and Friends collab. And the palette is called Truth Be Bold. And you all. Ah, look at this. Now this is color. Give it a little bit of 35B vibes. The Mickey and Friends are in balls. Look at Mickey's shorts on the red. Okay. Look at Mickey on the secret weapon, that navy blue. Oh, absolutely beautiful. I'm really excited to dive into that. Like this right here could have been its own palette. These 12 here, been its own palette. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm really, really excited to dive into this one, um, as with all of my palettes. So thank you so much for watching. That is my 10 times points palette haul. I'm very excited in terms of my Ulta points. Pray for me. I'm trying to hoard them for, to, for at least my birthday next year, which is in June. Um, it'd be cool if I could hoard them for all of the year and do holidays next year I don't know but um but things like this I always take advantage of the point perks to stack up my ultra points and it's really just a curiosity thing because once you hit 2,000 points that's kind of um that's where you get the most bang for your buck and then it just restarts every 2,000 points kind of thing like that so but if you know ultra you know <laughs> so really excited though so thank you so much for watching if you have any questions comments concerns about any other products mentioned in this video feel free to leave it down below I love you all very much, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.